Hi, my name is Tim Lehman. I'm uh, here to read some poems uh, from the American West for this House of Books during April National Poetry Month. Here's one that I think you may recognize the author. Uh, it's kind of a prose poem. Thousands of tired, nerve-shaken, over-civilized people are beginning to find out that going to the mountains is going home, that wildness is a necessity, and that mountain parks are useful not only as fountains of timber, but as fountains of life. That's John Muir. Uh, we associate him with the California mountains, the Sierra Nevadas. Um, his uh, background is uh, Scottish, though, and uh, you can see uh, hints of the uh, Scottish uh, Romantic um, poets here, I think. Uh, one more from John Muir that I rather like. This grand show is eternal. It is always sunrise somewhere. The dew is never all dried at once. A shower is forever falling. Vapor is ever rising. Eternal sunrise, eternal sunset, eternal dawn and gloaming on sea and continent and islands, each in its turn as the round earth rolls. All right, and um, one more that I suppose is um, uh, from a poet we mostly associate with California. This is from Mary Austin. Mary Austin, earlier in the 20th century, wrote about uh, Land of Little Rain, as she called her book, The Mojave Desert of uh, Southern California. And this is uh, one of her poems that's not about the Mojave Desert. Um, this is from a 1928 uh, publication, Poetry, a magazine of verse. Caller of Buffalo. Whenever the summer-singed plains past my car window heave and fall like flanks of trail-weary cattle, when the round-backed hills go shouldering down to drink of the western rivers and dust like ceremonial smoke goes up from the long-dried wallows, then I remember the caller of buffalo. Then I think I see him, head feathers slant in the wind, shaking his medicine robe from the buttes of Republican River at Pawnee Bluffs, offering sacred smoke to the great white buffalo. Then at dawn, between jiggling curtains, I wake to the star-keen note of his deer shin whistle. O oh, caller of buffalo, hunt no more on the ancient traces, pale and emptied of going as a cast snake skin. Come into my mind and hunt the hurting thoughts, the great white buffalo of the much desired places. Come with your medicine making, O caller of buffalo. And one more poem, this one from a Montana author, uh, Martinsdale, Montana, in fact. Um, Grace Stone Coates uh, lived in Martinsdale and wrote poems that were published uh, nationally. Uh, she had a, a national reputation, um, but she did not always um, find things easy in her hometown of Martinsdale. And this is a poem that reflects that uneasiness. It is called Femme Incomprise, uh, and uh, that is uh, French, translated means uh, misunderstood woman. The ladies who discuss me could hardly like me worse for they embroidered doilies, and I embroidered verse. While they're crocheting sweaters and knitting counterpanes, I'm picking out new patterns for couplets and quatrains. The breach forever widens in spite of my regrets that their souls dote on damask and mine on triolets. I call their laces stupid. They find my meters lame. I hate their fat initials but they hate my whole name. So I hope you um, enjoy that. Uh, a little poetry for National Poetry Month. Um, even Westerners write poems. Best to all of you.